One big takeaway from the experts, if you are still using some technologies from two years ago, you may be in trouble. We have a power trio of experts on this topic this week. Ramon Ray is the editor of smallbiztechnology.com, a company that shows small businesses how they can use technology to grow. Riva Lasansky is one of our frequent guests. She is the founder and CEO of Grow Biz Media, a company specializing in coverage of small businesses and entrepreneurship. And Brian Halligan is the co-founder and CEO of HubSpot, a marketing software company. Great to see all of you. I had not seen that cat video before. That is funny. That funny. <laughs> I somehow missed that one. Um, Brian, I wanted to start with you to ask you something about SEO. SEO used to be sort of the holy grail if you could figure out SEO. Is it still as important as it used to be? I think it's still very important. Um, the, the way I sort of think about it is, is this real shift in the way humans sort of live and, and, and shop and learn. And people spend a lot of time in Google, but they also spend a lot of time at Facebook and their mobile phone. So SEO is still a big part of it. If you really want to win in SEO, you need to be able to do really well in social media because the search engines are starting to look at what you're up to in the, uh, in, in the social media sites as a signal uh, as to whether you're worthy of ranking for different terms. Got it. Okay, so then that goes back to social media, as you just said, and providing some sort of content with Ramon you talk about all of the time. It's essential. No, I mean, I think of small business owners, I always tell them, you have to be publishers. It's no longer just good enough to make that widget, make that shirt, and ship it off. Customer service is great and all those things. But you have to be publishers. You have to start producing your own content, not like MSNBC is doing, but even in a small way, start producing content. And put it on your site, put it on your social media, or put it everywhere? Photos, video, audio. I say put it everywhere. And I think it's no longer just me talking to somebody out there, but getting people to also talk about you to right. get them doing that. So I think that's essential. It's a whole integrated approach. The problem is your small business, you know, the, the wearer of many hats, it's right. now a new hat you have to wear. It's, it's like you've gone and there's something else that you have to do while, like Ramon says, you still need to make your product. You, need, you still need to perform right. your service. And now you still, here's a new thing that you have to create. So you have to come up with really easy ways to get it done or you're just going to be overwhelmed and your business itself is going to suffer. I, I was interested in what they were saying about analytics um, because yes in theory it absolutely makes sense don't do anything without measuring it that is the beauty of the web is that you can pretty much measure everything but Brian as Reva just said we're small businesses and so first you have to figure out what analytics company to work with what it is you want to analyze how much it's going to cost so what do you do with the information that you should be measuring everything yeah, I, I totally agree with that comment um, that, that you should measure everything. The, the, the problem with print and with newspaper ads and even television stuff, it is darn hard to figure out uh, whether it's working or not. Everything you do in Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and Google is highly measurable. And there's lots of, uh, really lots of easy ways to measure stuff today. The technology has really gotten simple so mere mortals can figure this stuff out. Uh, you don't have to be uh, a rocket scientist to figure these analytics out and figure out your return on investment. So, so if you're a small business, where do you go? Say, okay, I just watched your business. They said I should measure everything. Where do I'll I start? I'll give you a few things. I mean, I think also it's very easy to do. One, Google. That Google's the most famous and long-standing Google Analytics. They now have features that you can know how many mobile users are coming to your website. So you now can know I'm pu- publishing this content. Should I focus on mobile users or website users or both? Point two, I'll give a name, a company called Deliver It, D-L-V-R dot I-T. They will send to you every week reports of which social networks are generating the most traffic and engagement. What does that mean? If you're finding most of your users are Twitter followers, go to Twitter. If Twitter's not so great as Facebook, build up on Facebook. So you can start real simple and easy. What about, Brian, what about analyzing your site? I want to put up this piece of content or this message or this product. I want to make something blue or red or I'm assuming you should analyze all that stuff as well. You should. I I wouldn't want to get the viewers too wrapped up in analytics. I I think the basic simple thing that people should do, back to uh, what the panelists are saying, is create a ton of content. Mm -hmm. I I sort of think uh, the currency of the U.S. economy is the U.S. dollar. The currency of the Internet is links. And if you can create remarkable, interesting content, you'll pull people in from Google. You'll pull people in from blogs, from social media. Um, you'll turn your website basically into a hub on the Internet. So I, I wouldn't go crazy with analytics. The things I would want to look at with analytics is how many visitors am I getting mm-hmm. per channel, how many leads, and how many customers. Thanks so much, you guys.